The BCS factory recommends that the power safe filter be replaced after the first 30 hours of use, and again after each subsequent 100 hours or once per year, whichever comes first. After the first filter change, it is always recommended that the hydraulic transmission fluid be changed at the same time after the interval period. Caution: Do not use 80 to 90 weight gear oil as listed in the operator's manual, as it is too thick and will clog or restrict the filter, causing the power safe clutch not to operate as designed. Start the tractor and warm up the engine for about 5 to 10 minutes by driving it around and engaging the PTO with the clutch a few times. This will warm the fluid and help speed up the fluid and filter change process. Park the tractor in a safe, level area. Kill the engine and block if necessary. Remove the lower shield and clean off any loose debris. Place a drain pan large enough for 3 to 6 quarts of fluid under the transmission and remove the large drain plug using a 22 mm socket or wrench. Let the fluid drain down to a dribble, getting as close to empty as possible. This should take about 3 to 5 minutes depending on the warmth of the fluid. Wipe off any metal fragments adhering to the magnet on the drain plug. It is normal to see some filings on the magnet during the first oil change, but this should decrease on subsequent fluid changes. Remove the filter on the opposite side of the tractor transmission case. Though not required, it may be easier to access the filter by removing the tire on this side. It should be hand tightened but may require a filter or spanner wrench for removal. Smear some new fluid on the large rubber gasket packaged with the new filter. Attach it and spin it down completely. Then to finish, hand tighten by an additional quarter to a third turn. Once the fluid appears to have drained completely from the transmission, swap your drain pan out for one with a lower profile and using the handlebars, tilt the engine down as low as possible to finish draining any remaining oil and particulates that may have accumulated. Ensure that the copper crush washer is still on the drain plug, then return the plug to the transmission. Using your 22 mm wrench or socket, tighten to about 10 foot-pounds. Remove the transmission fluid dipstick and using an appropriate funnel, add two and a half quarts of the recommended fluid as specified on Service Bulletin 2-22. Check the fluid level, making sure that it falls somewhere between the two notches on the dipstick, and add up to another quarter cup of oil if necessary. Start the tractor, 
run through the gears, and engage the clutch a few times before shutting it down. And finally, after the oil has been circulated through the filter for about one to two minutes, verify the fluid level on the dipstick once more. In conclusion, please know that we welcome your feedback and questions. To contact us about the content of this short video, please call 888-224-4271 or email info at bcsamerica.com. Thank you.